How's everyone doing? Today I'll be reviewing The Wolverine. And if you've seen The Wolverine, definitely let me know what you think of it as well. The Wolverine is directed by James Mangold, who directed a few movies that I really enjoy, including Copland, Identity, and the 310 to Yuma remake. But he's most notably known for doing the movies uh, Walk the Line and Girl Interrupted. The movie follows up after the events of X-Men Last Stand, and it has Logan living in the Canadian wilderness like a hermit, and he's still mourning the loss of Jean Grey, who he's forced to kill, and he's having these dreams and visions of Jean Grey basically haunting him. He then goes to Japan to meet a dying old man he had once saved, and the old man offers to take away Logan's immortality so he doesn't have to suffer through all his friends and family and loved ones passing away in front of him while he lives on like a curse. Logan is vulnerable for the first time and he has to fight to survive, not just physically, but emotionally as well. It really speaks on the inner emotional turmoil Logan goes through, and I really appreciate the character-driven aspect to this comic book movie, which you don't rarely see. Usually it's just a lot of action and flash, but this one has a lot of depth and character-driven drama in it. There are some new mutants introduced here, like Viper. Mmm, yummy. She kind of reminds me of Poison Ivy a little bit, uh, but it isn't mutant overload like the previous X-Men movies or uh, the Wolverine origin movie. There are new friends and foes and a new love interest, and I really like the Yakuzuna uh, gangster uh, aspect to it as well, and the Japan setting. It's a great mythology movie for one of the best Marvel comic book characters out there. I really like how it explores Wolverine's humanity and kind of makes him feel like an outsider once again in the Japanese setting. The film is loosely based on the 1982 four-part miniseries from Chris Claremont and Frank Miller, and I think they'd be impressed by uh, what Mangold did here. The Wolverine is way better than the previous Wolverine origin movie, and I can't wait for more Wolverine sequels in the future, and I think The Wolverine will refuel this character series much like Nolan's Batman Begins did for the Batman movies. It's incredibly atmospheric, I love the Japan setting for it, just a great choice there, and excellent fight scenes, uh, especially on the bullet train. That was such an epic fight sequence. It just will blow you away if you've seen it. And I like the ninjas in the snow fight scene and uh, all the arrows as well, making Wolverine into a mutant pincushion a la Throne of Blood, Kurosawa. Great drama and tension all throughout. Fantastic cinematography, very visually stunning movie, very aesthetically appealing from top to bottom. It's a very stylistic film, and while there is a lot of action, there's also equally as much depth, and there are a lot of sequences where you, you hear that steel against Wolverine's adamantium claws, lots of ones like that, a little too much of that really, but again, there's a lot going on here, a lot of character development, and I really appreciated that. You rarely see that for these uh, comic book action type movies. I think everybody played their part very well. It's a mostly Asian cast, so you know they're taking a risk there, there's not a lot of, you know, big name power outside of Hugh Jackman, and Hugh Jackman was excellent again in here. I think he's a fantastic actor. He doesn't just do great action movies, he also does fantastic drama performances a la Les Mis. He was fantastic in that as well, and I can't wait to see more from him in the future. He does a really great job portraying a complex character such as Logan. Now I do have some criticisms about the movie. There's a little bit too much CGI, a little bit too flashy in some scenes, it was a little redundant, a little too over the top. Uh, the third act kind of crumbled a bit and I wanted a little bit more for the Silver Samurai Showdown. I want some more from that. And there's a lot of characters and plot twists here that kind of aren't well established enough but you just kind of go with it because it does work. It's, you know, you don't get too caught up in that aspect. You get focused in on uh, the Logan character and some of the other characters involved and it really draws you in. But overall, it was a great comic book action movie with some excellent character development, which you don't always see in these types of movies, and that kind of makes this one stand out. And again, some of these action sequences are just amazing, mind-blowing. I think this is definitely worthy of being a summer blockbuster movie. I really thought this was a big surprise as far as summer blockbusters and comic book action movies. This kind of came out of left field. I wasn't expecting this much kind of inner depth and turmoil and all the vulnerability, uh, you know, emotional and physical wise, I thought that just really created a lot of layers here for this character. A big step in the right direction for this character, and I give the Wolverine an 8 out of 10 stars. Definitely one I would recommend seeing if you like comic book action movies with some great drama and depth to it. If you've seen the Wolverine, definitely let me know what you think of it as well. Leave me a comment or video response down below. Hope everyone's doing well. Take care.